So Masrat Alam has officially been arrested. He will be produced in court, and then based on court our orders, he will be further action will be taken against him. Now he has been booked under several sections of the Ranbir Penal Court. He was formally taken into custody, placed under preventive detention at 10 o'clock last night. That was the time he was placed under house arrest. This morning, police reached his house, and 8:30 he was taken to the Shahid Ganj Police Station in Badgam. After that, he will be produced in court, and then further action will be taken against Masrat Alam. There are serious charges against him. It is not just waving a Pakistani flag. on television cameras he incited a mob he raised pro pakistan slogans he said hafiz saeed ka ye paigham kashmir banega pakistan and that cannot be permitted in a democracy there is, there are limits to freedom of speech there are limits to freedom of expression that is what legal experts have been telling headlines today this is sedition and those are pictures of masrat alam at the shahid ganj police station in badgam Masrat Alam was in custody for the past four and a half years. It was on the seventh of March, two thousand fifteen, that he was released from prison. Headlines today: Shuja Ul Haq joins us with the latest. Shuja, what happens in Humama next? Take us through the latest. Yes, the governor of Humama is says this case is being registered. Uh, remember the rally and uh, the. The entire the speech was made in Hyderabad. That falls in the Humawa jurisdiction of the Mumbai Police. So that's why the case was registered against him and others as well. Uh, let's remember the cases that uh, on 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 them are uh, on the unlawful activities act, indulging in them 120 B criminal procedures uh, and many other sections of the Rambir Penal Code. So now the investigation will carry forward. Uh, they will uh, they will go on uh, with the procedure of this case and. now uh, it is very amply clear that he has been arrested in that particular case only because let's remember masal alam does not just have one fir against him he is in fact out in bail or uh, on uh, or you know at this at this very moment before he was arrested so now it is very clear that he is going to be tried for uh, the very uh, important point that most of us were making on his uh, presence in that rally on the activities that made say, there were made in that rally That is going to be the focus on right from right from here on. The investigation will really be focusing on that fact of Masood Alam Bhattar. Shuja, for the benefit of the viewers who are joining us now, can you give us details? Masood Alam, for now, has been booked under what all cases and this re-arrest? What he is being tried for? Well, Shahid uh, Ganj Police Station, which is. Uh, Uh, near the Lal Chowk uh, area of the Nagar city, and from here on now he has been shifted to Humhama, and uh, the, the procedure of the case will follow from here on. They will, uh, uh, they the the legal procedures will be taken care uh, taken forward from here on. And you have to understand the Masood Alam also yesterday made it very clear. He said, if I am arrested, I will uh, ensure that my legal team uh, carries forward uh, the, the 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 procedure in the court. They will file for uh, his bail or to will fight the entire case uh, on uh, on the merits of it yes. but at this at this moment the fact remains is that the police has acted they have taken the personalum into custody he has been brought, brought to humhama police station where the entire affair has been registered okay and this isn't just related to waving of pakistani flags that is one part of of what was happening and masrat alam can clearly say i am not waving pakistani flags but the bigger sin what legal experts are saying what what tantamounts to sedition is masrat alam ranting hafiz saeed ka ye paigham kashmir banega pakistan te tu kya chahe main kya chahu hum sab chahe pakistan now all of that cannot be permitted even in a democracy this, this tantamounts to sedition is that a charge against him uh, there, there are charges of uh, indulging in unlawful activities i think that pretty much uh, you know covers all of it uh, but you see, you see garam it will be very interesting to see uh, with with uh, with what vigor will the state uh, take forward this case as i was pointing out this is not the only fir that uh, a leader like masrat alam will have against him there yes. are many other cases that are still existing against him 
but uh, it will d- entirely depend on the policy of the state of jammu and kashmir what they want to do with these leaders from me from from here to here, here on yes. they, if they have a policy of engaging with them then yeah, it's a matter of time he may be out again and there will be a dialogue process and state would be talking to them because that is what Masrat Alam is an agent of Pakistan he campaigns against India treason to let him out of jail it was a mistake says Sanjay Raut of the Shiv Sena uh, and Shuja this perhaps explains the difference of opinion the difference of opinion that exists in parts of the valley and the rest of the country Shuja that's right it is out in the open you know that is a uh, that is a point that most of us were making uh, if if uh, there, there is any evidence of uh, how this entire process has been so far it is clearly open in the out in the open there are differences between pdp and bjp pdp uh, managed to put its point of view across they released masrat alam they did uh, even after so much of pressure he was arrested uh, more than 48 hours after that incident so their point of view has been clear that they want to engage with uh, separatists uh, in an ideological manner in a democratic manner it is giving them space for dialogue for talks but that is something that the bjp will have to come out okay. clearly yes. is that what the bjp wants is that what Stay the narendra modi government moment, wants to lots of reactions that are coming in from across the political spectrum these are pictures these are pictures the most recent pictures of masrat alam the separatist leader the huriyat hardliner he is seen as a pro pakistan voice in jammu and kashmir the inheritor of sayed ali shah gilani's legacy sayed ali shah gilani was in delhi when he returned to shrinagar after 4 months in delhi masrat alam organized a rally a reception all the way from the airport to haiderpura this was permitted this was permitted by the mufti mohammad said government they said speeches will be made that was also permitted by the mufti mohammad said government in jnk what was not permitted was raising pro pakistan slogans because even in a democracy there are limits to what you can say and what you should not be able to say and shuja ul haq joins me with more shuja ul haq has been tracking the story very very closely and shuja this is a litmus test not just for the mufti mohammad said government but also for the alliance Well, definitely, it is a litmus test. In fact, it is uh, it's a crucial uh, question that stares in their faces. In fact, you know, by this entire uh, attention that has been given on this story and on Masrat Alam in itself, one thing that needs to be answered is, as we have been drilling right from the beginning. what well, the policy what is the policy that this government will have towards the, this political turmoil of jammu and kashmir what is it that they have decided over common minimum program is fine uh, the issues of development bringing back uh, uh, you know power projects is fine but this is an issue that is going to stare them in their faces time and again arresting masrat alam does not say, you know solve this problem does not uh, you know do justice to the entire issue shuja explain is this to us kept in their mind yes shuja explain this to the for the benefit of our viewers jammu and kashmir and especially areas in and around the valley barely recovering from floods desperately want tourists in fact a big pitch was made the tulip garden was being shown around and then there are the masrat alams and their pro pakistan rants and hafiz said ka ye paigham kashmir banega pakistan is the valley concerned that if tourists don't come livelihood will suffer is of course it is not just the tourists it's not it's the entire lives of people uh, which are disrupted time and again and that and that the, the clear uh, you know uh, the, the reason is that there is an issue which needs to be addressed uh, if, nobody would want uh, his life to be disrupted time and again nobody will want his children not to be going school to schools nobody want will, will want his business to be affected that is the point here if i can tell you that the sense on the ground that most of the people commoners uh, common people 
people have is that there should be something that looks like a concrete mechanism to address the problem of Jammu and Kashmir. Yes. We have to understand that Kashmir, Kashmir needs some sort of a, a very clear-cut policy, not just from the state government but from the centre government as well. Yes. How do they want to deal with it? Remember, in in Manmohan Singh's time in UPA when 2010 happened, the entire unrest. You and me remember that. Yes. How ugly it had gone on the ground, and then the entire interlocutors uh, team was sent here. They made a report, sent some recommendations. Yes. That report was, uh, you know, uh, is, is gone gone to the dust. Uh, is gathering in the dust in some dustbin somewhere. Nothing seems to have been done Stay from with there me. on. Yes. Whether the government yes. of India. Stay with me for a moment, Shruja. That's a very important point that you've raised there and we will talk about that. But for a moment, I want to quickly cut across to headlines today's Moshmi Singh. She's just spoken to MOS Jitendra Singh. MOS in the Prime Minister's office, Jitendra Singh. Let's listen in. Uh, the way this entire issue has snowballed, do you think that in the first uh, instance the rally should have not been allowed to be held and the Mufti government is actually failing to uh, reign in separatists? No, as far as we are concerned and the leadership of the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, we, very, we are very clear. We have been very consistent actually, like right from the beginning for the last 50, 60 years, even mm. when we were part of the opposition camp, both the center as well as the state, there is no compromise on patriotism, no compromise on nationalism and there is zero tolerance for terrorism, zero tolerance for separatism. And having said that, I think all our activities or positioning would be guided by this basic principle and I think this is also an occasion for all of us to realize once again that uh, the alliance that has come into existence in Jammu and Kashmir is purely, purely for governance and we must very judiciously learn to respect each other's domain. We have not compromised on ideological issues which are very close to us. Your own political advisor in Jammu Kashmir, Omar has said that the ties should be snapped. Do you think this alliance is a failure? I because you are as different as chalk and cheese. I would not uh, engage myself into that debate, but... Your own political advisor yes, is advising Yes, that. but I, having said that, let me add over here that we are an organization which is highly disciplined, where there is a, a sharing of responsibility and our leadership at the center, also at the state, is capable enough to take appropriate decisions at appropriate times depending upon the situations that develop and therefore since we are not a party which is uh, centered around any coterie. Do you think that at the center your government has been caused, uh, has uh, faced huge embarrassments because of the way the state government has taken on the separatists, has, uh, has given statements, has acted on Masratala? No, even if that be so. The central you government. There was a lot of no, I, I didn't say. But even if that be so, assuming what you are saying is right, I think the government at the centre was very clear and forthright in what it thought about the entire sequence of events, and it has also succeeded in having uh, influenced the decision. The Deputy Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Nirmal Singh, making it very clear that there is an agenda for development. There are no differences between the BJP and the PDP. There is a common minimum program and the government will follow it. They waited for an opportune moment. The moment that opportunity came, Masrat Alam was arrested. Uh, Shuja Ulhaq, my, my colleague from Srinagar, with me on the story. Shuja, you raised a very important point. Masrat Alam was seen as the chief architect of the 2010 stone pelting. From 2010 to 2014, uh, practically till uh, early 2015, this man was in jail. To a large extent, Kashmir was peaceful. He is out of jail. He was out of jail once again and tension started brewing. Is there merit in the fear that the security agencies had that if he is out on the streets, that stone pelting could start again? Gangs were being organized. Well, Gaurav, uh, that is something the, that the security agencies will definitely have some, uh, you know, uh, inputs towards, but we can't really confirm that. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it is too early for someone like Masrat Alam to organize mass scale protests, uh, uh, you know, which could be detrimental to the entire process uh, that is going on in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, he is definitely a figure now. We've, uh, we, what, what this entire issue has at least ensured is that Masrat Alam becomes an even bigger uh, figure than it was uh, before his uh, release or before uh, when he was arrested in the jail. 
that 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 also begs the entire answer if this entire uh, issue right from the beginning when he was released first the pdp tried to take credit out of it that say you know showcasing to the people uh, in kashmir valley that it was pro dialogue it wanted to give space to uh, the separatism and uh, wanted to talk to them so that the issue can be resolved and and then the, the bjp seemed like a like, like a, a partner who was completely ignored they tried to put pressure even today in this particular case uh, you and me know it has happened on wednesday the fir was registered on wednesday it is very clear that the government state government under the leadership of mufti mohammad said did not want to take this action okay. it is only under tremendous amount of pressure that they have finally arrested him but they the arrest also came came pretty late it was like more than 42 hours after that incident did happen so they have managed to put their point of view across it is the bjp that has to decide what have they decided they have discussed between their alliance partner before coming into this government what is the tangible step that this that narendra modi want uh, government wants to give out to the country and specifically to jammu and kashmir in terms yes. of resolution of the entire issue what is it that is there in their minds that needs to be cleared yes. and out in open even this common minimum program you know if you read it there is nothing very clearly demarcated how are they going to deal with this issue yes. because as i was pointing out earlier kashmir is not just about uh, roti bijli pani that is also there common people want that but at the end of the day it's these kind of issues which end up disrupting all of that yes. so it needs to be addressed as well